Thank you. Uh, it's good. Thank you very much for being here and giving me the opportunity to talk about my research. Okay. This time I I, I will start for the end. That made it a thank to the uh, workshop team. That thank you very much. I know it's an organization that works. It's a lot to work. And also this declare this study is uh, for Chilean phone and show my picture on my lab. And this this. Uh, uh, this is the research team on my student, Lorena, Lorena is here. He's, he's a collaboration to uh, Florida University with uh, Dr. Andrew Gaura and my colleagues and friend, uh, Dr. Fumito Maruyama from Kyoto University. This is an international collaboration project. Uh, we obtained phone because, you know, in Panama, in the meeting, I met with Elvis Morrison. He's a student from, PhD student from Andrew Gaura. That's is a result from Panama meeting, okay? But my study is uh, focused in the, the, in the gasosphere, you know, in the plant micro or plant bacteria interaction. There are many compartments in the, in the plant. We have the phytosphere in the leaf, and also in the, in the, in, into the, into the, the plant, you know, and litter too. We can find different uh, community there, I mean, different, uh, interaction with the plant. That's now we, in my lab, we've taken also some research in our compartment in bacteria. But this, this is only the grass also spill. Okay, uh, you know, this soil and water are complex and dynamic system in which is physical and chemical and biolo biological components interact. That's a very complex environment. Hmm? Uh, also, it is environmental and very many factors can affect. Some of the main factors which you can find in the literature is the biotic factor, like a plant genotype, plant stage, development stage, okay, it's very important. Uh, plant defense mechanism, animal and grazer are also is the microbial community, they interact with the rest of the field. Uh, in relation to the biotic factor, with the soil composition, organic matter, acidity, you know, the pH, so it's very important to modulation of the, of the bacteria community. Uh, so soil management, like a fertilized pesti pest uh, pesticide addition, also had very influence, especially in pest pesticide, because we focus in some uh, microorganisms or um, pathogen that this that chemical affect all the community, microbial community. That's in our very interesting uh, area with now with interest for many people. And um, clima climatic mm -hmm. factor, you know, so that is climate change. Then it's very fascinating uh, topic. Uh, about the drought of fluid is very important, okay? And plant bacteria interaction into the microbial community. We have bacteria, bacteria can beneficial effect, uh, like a bio, bio control phytopathogen, and look at tail, like, like here we are here because many species talking about the how bacteria or mi microbes affect the fossil stake. Pathogenesis, as there are some bacteria can produce uh, disease in the plant. Uh, and growth factor, phytomone, volatile, or another kind of compound that can uh, affect the plant metabolism. We also study here in the plant tolerance. We have had some uh, enzyme improve the plant tolerance for arbitrary factor. Yeah. But all this factor is com is inter interactive. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, my presentation is focusing on microbial, of course, only bacteria, and with fertilizer and phosphorus uptake. Okay. Uh, this is a model we take a model from different uh, uh, papers. Uh, we can find in the root, they have different compartments too, different areas or different growth stage. And this affects root exudate, nutrient availability, nutrient uptake, bacteria abundance, and bacteria growth. That's literature set in the resosphere. It's a heterogeneous uh, system. We have different uh, dynamic in this compartment and different bacteria different community maybe, or maybe functionality. That's, that's very complex. That we make first for the study, make the, the study what happened there. And with the model, we uh, use mature zone, is all area on the root, and truth tip, the new area. Okay, this more contrasting, according to the territory contrasting area, okay? But in the study, uh, we focus in the, we, we know the bacteria has a crucial Role in the phosphorus nutrition plant, but we don't know what happened with the in the in the agriculture when put 
some phosphor fertilization. And we focus in phosphoric phosphate addition and phytate. Okay? And we check the total bacteria with sickness gene, the popular gene. And also we use alkaline, alkaline phosphatase uh, bacteria community. Okay? In root tip and mature zone. Let's focus on that. We prepare a model system, you know, a rasoton. We check, we try to put very specific area we try to do. Okay, we take uh, soy sample, we use a volcanic soil in South of Chile, had a lot uh, total phosphorus and low uh, availability of uh, phosphate for the plant nutrition. Experimental design is very simple, you know, we grow the plant here and we can detect different. Um, uh, we focus here the mature sun and root tip here. We made a comparison and then stay for 30 days. Yeah, because mm -hmm. 30 days because this grow very fast and we don't, don't we didn't want the, the effect on the, the compartment effect. Uh, and focusing to sampling, take a very careful sample and the treatment is with control, without fertilization and with a uh, second treatment is uh, with phosphate, third one with phytate solution, and four is all book soil with, without plant. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three with plant. Uh, use uh, molecular uh, technique. We use uh, four, five, four, five sequences. This uh, we are paying a lot of sequence. It's, it's not new. Uh, it's, it's about the 15 mm -hmm. technology, 15 year uh, old technology. Now it's more modern, like Illumina or PacBio, but. It's very useful too because we have taken up become very uh, big for 400 better than more information. Okay, and use DGG is very popular, very cheap me uh, method, and uh, qPCR quantitative PCR for focusing for D and for X. What this one? We, we spent three times, three years, sorry, three times for design a primer for five five days with bacteria, but finally this very focusing our soil. You know, we didn't found. Uh, the amplicon in different soil, but we have the same problem with international uh, primary in the literature, we can find the, the amplicon there. That's both gene is used for marking the environmental and work very nicely with our sample. Okay, this is the result. We had a lot, uh, about 18 or 20,000 sequences to analyze. This analyze by computer, yeah? we were cleaning, but with one more detail we can talk later. But the, the idea here is to uh, make the ratification. Uh, we had an acceptable coverage of 80%, over 85% coverage. And the OTUS, OTUS means uh, taxonomic unit. What means is the diversity, that some idea of diversity, different bacteria, different species. We have in, this, in this sample, we had about 4,000, 3,000 uh, different genus and species. This caught us in the uh, 97, okay? This is one result. We had, sorry, we had relative abundance. We had the first one, it's a phyla level. We had also focus in our analysis with different level, a phyla, a class, and genus, okay? It's not the same because uh, uh, depend on the, what the resolution we had in the sequence. You, you, all this, this sequence we had compared with database, yeah? With some sequence they not uh, recognize in database. Okay, we had the protobacteria dominant, you know this bush soil is different to with plant. I had also we had the green, uh, green is chlorophyxy and acidobacteria too and actinobacteria. This is a filler level and class level. We had dominant, especially alpha protobacteria, which compared with this area is totally different. And uh, alpha protobacteria is uh, typically is a rhizobium, is nitrogen fixing bacteria, rhizobium, bradyl rhizobium. Uh, also, we have beta protobacteria. Protobacteria is a nitrogen fixing bacteria we can found. And actinobacteria is, you know, is uh, actinomycetes here. Um, the, one of the different is bacillus. Bacillus is, is, uh, disappeared in the, with the plant. But very curious. And also here, uh, this is uh, uh, It's gamma protobacteria. Also, gamma protobacteria, we had a, a pseudomonas and very typical bacteria we cannot isolate from in the lab. When we go to the genus, we can see the, you know, the, the, the addition of phosphor can improve some genus and also decrease some genus. This is a problem. But this, we have to care with this result. That doesn't mean this, uh, 
in pre previous we uh, we talking about relative abundance that means in relation relative abundance increase but not you not the same with abundance I, I don't know what the, you understand it's a, a in relation to total bacteria but this is more relation to how many cells we have in the soil we have to take care in that about approach but the important point is we with different phosphor addition we can different uh, stimulation or innovation of bacteria with the uh, when based diversity we have more diversity with phytate in general we are some no, no, there's some different case and also here with phytate we have more diversity what means diversity when we use another uh, technique this is a ggg with all bacteria we have some cluster even cluster also in general too we focus with the different treatments okay uh, in DGG also, we have more richment. This is here, okay. In some place, we have more richment and also diversity in some places. It's not general. We have some variation. Also. No? Uh, with in relation to phosphorase, uh, in general, in this case, in previous one with technique, we didn't show uh, significant difference within uh, mature soil with root tip. But when they check the QPCR, we can see. In root tip, we have more diversity, stickiness, and phosphatase. That we can find some different in both compartments in the plant there. Okay. Sorry, I want to check there. Okay. Uh, conclusion: We have in general, we have protobacteria, bacteria, bacteria, bacteria. We can find some in the genus level different with the phosphor addition. Uh, the enrichment was better in the phytate when addition phosphate. Um, also, we can see a uh, different significant difference in resolution with uh, phosphate still. Uh, a significant hard copy in stickiness and phosphate in the rust tip than mature soil. Okay? And also, it's uh, obtain more this gene compared to another gene, this comparison. With we had in we had a natural uh, it's the agronomic soil in different compartments we had different opposite uh, proportion in that we have to continue study we more the time this uh, the paper was recently online uh, but i think we had that's a w only for finish we had very limitation in the database now with the gene it's very 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 hard to uh, we most of the primary police we cannot detect in our bacteria gene yeah we have to really focus in, in the trying to find new bacteria. If we just multiplicate with different uh, environmental, that's uh, uh, in Chile we had a lot of environmental, like a, it's a, you know, this, this is a Marcel soil in the Atacama Desert. This is my area, it's very, uh, you know, there's an old, very old very, uh, tree. And we had the geyser, we had the poster hill, invite you to the poster, Antarctic too, and Patagonia. And all this, Environmental, we, f we found bacteria, we produce phytase. Very oligotrophic environmental, had a lot of phytase, but they always had uh, phytase. But we have to learn what is it doing there. What the, this bacteria had uh, phytase in that environment are very poor, and we had a lot of phosphate sites. Thank you very much. <laughs>